Hello, I'm Duncan, head of Europe at Canva. My journey with data didn't start in tech. It started as a journalist and author trying to make sense of complex topics like energy and climate. I discovered that data alone doesn't change minds. But when you can transform it into something that people can visualize, things start to connect. It's all about storytelling. That's why I co-founded Flourish, a product now used by organizations all over the world to create interactive data graphics to embed everywhere, from Canva pitch decks to corporate reports and leading news websites telling stories to the world. In 2022, we announced that Flourish had joined the Canva family. And since then, we've been working to integrate beautiful data storytelling into Canva too. Today, I'm excited to show you the result. <laughs> Introducing Canva Magic Charts. <laughs> Powered by Canva Sheets, Magic Charts makes it easier than ever to turn your data into a story. Let's see how it works. Canva now offers more than 25 rich visualization types, from classics like bar charts and pie charts to more adventurous ones like radars, stream graphs, even racing charts. It's now quick and easy to create the perfect visualization. In just a few clicks, Sheets will recommend the ideal chart to uncover your insights. You can also sync data from your favorite sources, like Google Analytics, Snowflake, HubSpot, or even pull in public data sets from sources like Statista. Our new filters and tooltips add rich interactivity to your visualizations, allowing your audience to explore the data for themselves. Of course, your charts will work anywhere across Canva. You can add them to your presentations. You can publish them on your website. Or best of all, add them to our new scrollable docs launching today. This unique new format allows you to tell immersive stories like never before. But with all this talk of data storytelling, maybe we should actually tell a story, your story. You created your first million designs by 2014. You made that a billion just four years later. Another four years in 2022, that had grown to 10 billion designs. And now you've hit a new record, creating more than a billion designs in a single month and taking the total to over 35 billion. <laughs> but where are all these designs made? Let's race back 10 years to find out. In the early days, it was the English language markets like the USA, the UK, and Australia that dominated. But look what happens after Canva rolls out in Portuguese and, and the Latin American countries in blue. We've got the Asian countries growing quickly in pink. But Brazil takes over, and there's no stopping it. So it takes the gold medal for now. But this race is far from over, because Canva is now growing in almost every country in the world every day. As Ca As Canva has grown, so have the number of ways that you use it. Social media, the red one here, has always been a firm favorite. But the fastest growing design type now, can you guess, is presentations. Because who doesn't love presenting in front of a huge audience, right? <laughs> but what elements are you adding to all these designs that you're making? Just for fun, we thought we'd look it up. Your top three most loved graphics are currently a flower, just one hand-drawn hearts, and drop shadows. <laughs> in fact, you've searched for drop shadows now so many times that we've built it into Canva as a feature. Yeah. Your most popular fonts, we've got beautiful Gothic League Spartan, Curly Brittany, and the strangely named Glacial Indifference, which <laughs> sounds like one you could take or leave. And your most used audio sounds, a baby chuckling, <laughs> banjo strings, and happy birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> Sounds like a hell of a party. Um, <laughs> finally, to give a mind-blowing sense of our community's global scale, 
Let's use one of the advanced visualizations from our newly updated Flourish integration, which launches today. What you're looking at here is a real-time playback of Canva usage. Each one of those little white dots represents an individual sharing their design to a colleague or the world. Isn't that just incredible? This global community includes everyone from small nonprofits to leading enterprises like Deloitte. Let's hear from their team now about what data storytelling means for them. There's a lot of data that we've got out there, making it easier for the non-specialists to create compelling visualizations using data is a very powerful development. Visual storytelling is essential to the work that we do at Deloitte. If we've got 20, 30, 50 page report we want you to read, you know, that's, we're asking you to make a big investment in your time. And so how do we then turn that research report into something that you want to engage with? And that's where the power of Canva is. Good data storytelling can drive a 20% improvement in business performance. Canva is making it a lot easier for us to get those insights and to create those visualizations. When I think about Canva and Deloitte, I see endless possibility. 